almost every one of our customers moving into the cloud is asking about uh, data security. You know, how can you really ensure that my data is safe? You know, and uh, so just like with banks, you know, if they can't keep the money safe, you know, just like if we can't keep the data safe, we are going to be out of business. So mm -hmm. you, this is absolutely our top priority. Hello, welcome to another special episode of TRG Talk, digital podcast, brought to you by TRG International. I'm your host today, Eddie, and today we have a really special guest from Info. Please welcome Mr. Biervin, uh, Director of Global Professional Service of Info System. Thank you for being here, yeah, Biervin. Thank you, thank you. Great Good to be here. Uh, could you share with us what the Info vision? for the future of the system now that the cloud version has been launched? So from a, a services uh, point of view, um, our vision is very much around standardization, you know, and offering our customers time to value. Uh, it's going to be critical really for us going forward to um, provide customers with um, a standard way of implementing, of configuring and training and enablement and uh, we really want to make sure that uh, our customers are getting the most value out of the product, not just now, but for the future as well. And we believe we can truly achieve that through uh, standardization, you know, through uh, pre-configured components, essentially, um, and um, really, you know, offering an accelerated way of implementing, um, you know, and uh, deploying the, the solution to customers. As a uh, global director of professional service, so how do you see the product involved, involving and ad adapting to meet the changing needs of business and industry? A lot of it is around industry best practices. Uh, there's a lot of focus uh, nowadays on uh, providing customers with industry best practices in terms of the way we configure, the way we train, and uh, the way we kind of go to market with our solution. We are not just uh, looking to have some configured and telling our customer or asking our customers what they want. Mm -hmm. In a way, we want to provide them with a way of telling them really how how they should be using our solution for that particular industry. Customers are coming to us and looking for expertise. They're looking for us to be, you know, the experts on the solution, experts in the industry. They're looking for our advice in terms of how the product should be implemented, what type of best practices uh, they should be following. And so really that's where we are taking the solution, taking it to a point where we can go to a customer and provide them with those industry best practices. How the uh, system IBO team stay updated with the involving need and challenges of the financial management? And how do they ensure that the system cloud remain relevant in today's changing market and demand? It is an ever-changing you know, market and uh, the needs of our customers are also uh, constantly changing and, and growing. And uh, so one of the few things we do, um, one of the many things I say we do is that we have uh, 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 regular uh, meetings uh, with our customers and, uh, and calls we connect and engage with our customers regularly and with our partners especially. You know, partners like yourself, TRG, mm -hmm. very important to uh, understanding for us as well, you know, as to what our customers are asking for from the solution. What they are really needing to complete their solution footprint. So, yeah, full engagement with customers. We obviously at attend various um, events throughout the year, uh, you know, that focus on the uh, office of the CFO. Uh, we will host uh, customer webinars. Uh, we will, again, we will have um, uh, partner conferences uh, where we can engage with our partners to truly uh, understand what their needs are, uh, you know, and the feedback they're getting from their customers from the market. It's an ever engaging sort of a mm -hmm. commitment really yeah. that we have with uh, you know with our customers uh, and our partners. Uh, you work in the professional service uh, field and so what are the key trends and challenges you have observed in the uh, adoption of SaaS solution in Asia? Yeah so what we're seeing now very much with people moving to the cloud and uh, is that they are looking for um, more workflows mm -hmm. especially they want more uh, business process automation so our customers are very keen on, you know, simplifying their business processes. You know, they're looking to uh, really get uh, something more out of the solution than just the standard processing mm -hmm. of transactions. You know, they want this system to um, do 
more work for them, you know, more right. automatically, yeah. right? And, uh, and uh, yeah, so that's really a lot of the asks we now get from our customers that are moving to the cloud. Uh, you know, they come and they want to see if the solution has workflow capabilities, you know, which we now can offer through InfraOS. So yeah, InfraOS has become a, a truly critical part of the overall Sun solution now. And with so many people now working from home, uh, that's a key component. And, uh, you know, and, and essentially automation throughout, you know, the various different uh, business processes, you know, and uh, so that's, I would say those are probably the two key areas yeah, that right. we see, yeah. So how do Info Analytic Tool help businesses make data driven decision? So we have, you know, we have different uh, data analytics tools like uh, like Q&A and for Q&A, you know, uh, which is our query and analysis tool. And and that tool, you know, again, meant for uh, more sort of ad hoc analysis and ad hoc reporting, uh, where you can get data in real time, you know, pulled from some system directly into, into, into spreadsheets where you can further manipulate the data. Um, and then, of course, we have uh, Sun Systems Reporting Services, which is uh, the native Sun Systems reporting tool in the product. And that tool, as well, is uh, you know highly capable of providing various different reports and documents that people may be looking for that are needed to support the overall business process. But then, to go even further than that, then we have um, EPM, mm -hmm. uh, Enterprise for Performance Management, a tool that uh, kind of like takes it to a, another level in terms of providing uh, our customers with um, you know KPIs or key yeah. performance indicators and uh, and data that can be further analyzed and drilled into to provide sort of a, a more segmented view of the business or provide uh, more details around uh, particular you know uh, key areas of the business uh, out of the sun system product you can you can generate uh, a, a large variety of reports you have um, uh, trial balance reports. You've got uh, your standard, um, uh, your PNL reports. You have your, uh, you know, um, uh, various yeah, account revenue. list. Yeah, yeah, revenue reports, account listing reports, journalist reports. Yeah, you write revenue reports, payables reports. You have, uh, uh, you know, age data reports. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, number of reports that um, you can get out of it. And then, of course, to supplement that, you have the Q and A reporting tool and EPM if people choose that solution to kind of a further expand on that uh, reporting footprint. This is our question a little bit. Can, can we, we can do the custom report on the EPM tool, is it? Yeah. How user-friendly is, is the report generation process in enforcing system for non-technical user like me? Uh, as long as you're just using the reports, absolutely. Very user-friendly. So you have a, um, a menu screen that is parameter-driven, so you simply have to uh, uh, define or set your parameters as to how you want to filter the data. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for data for a particular period, for a particular account or range of accounts, you want to look at uh, invoices for certain vendors, you know, you simply have to fill that in almost like you would do on, on sort of a standard web pages mm -hmm. and, uh, and then run the report to, to retrieve that data. Different yeah, running the reports is very, very simple, you know, but if you want to design the reports, you certainly might have to put on your technical hat yeah, and- a little bit. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the IG is meant to all right. the customer. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, many of our customer has spread their concern for the security. This is a big concern at the moment. So which is, uh, which is one of the top priority? How does Enforce System Cloud guarantee the safety of the sensitive financial data with the is with its security measure and protocol? Almost every one of our customers moving into the cloud is asking about uh, data security. You know, how can you really ensure that my data is safe? You know, and uh, so just like with banks, you know. If they can't keep the money safe, you know, just like if we can't keep the data safe, we are going to be out of business. So mm -hmm. you, this is absolutely our top priority. And even long before Sun Systems was actually put into the cloud, you know, uh, Infor was developing tools, processes, and putting in place uh, various policies to ensure that the data integrity, you know, and data availability and, uh, and access and security of the customer's data is absolutely paramount. We take this super seriously. And uh, it's, um, it's a big part of our business now. And another thing to note is that um, even from the beginning uh, of version 6.3, we were already re-architecting the product uh, to, um, to be more compliant with the cloud. With the cloud. You know, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so this didn't just start with some systems you know, becoming available in, in multi-tenant. We were building these, uh, these tools and processes way back, you know, many years ago. And, uh, you know, and we were... Uh, 
uh, like I said, re-architecting the product to ensure that it was fully compa compatible and fully compliant, mm -hmm. you know, with the cloud. Yeah. And uh, you know, and again, it's all about the security. Right. AI undoubtedly is going to be like one of the most buzzword of 2023. Yeah. Yes, yes. Various yes. solution provider like um, have they integrate the AI into their services, transforming the AI system from right. being or inspiring to become an everyday necessity. So I'm interesting to know your perspective on yeah. the stream. AI is certainly the buzzword in 2023. Uh, Microsoft, Google, and many others are, yeah. you know, are coming out with their AI tools, and you know, Microsoft is already launching and putting AI into their products and tools. So obviously, our customers are going to see that, and they're going to be asking that question. You know, how are are you going to be putting AI into the product, and uh, you know, and how quickly, and how can we take advantage of that? Now, I would say right now, um, you know, any development of AI is going to come through InfraOS. Like, it's not going to come through some systems itself. It's going to be come through the InfraOS platform because that's essentially, uh, you know, the, the technology stack or the technology platform that, you know, Sun is uh, sort of uh, embedded into now. And mm -hmm. through that platform, we are getting all of those types of solutions, including the workflow management, the document management capabilities. So. I foresee that AI is going to come through that platform and be embedded into some systems, for sure, yeah. Could you discuss the collaborative effort between the Info and its channel partner, like DIG, and how this partnership has contributed to the crowd and support of the system in the market? Yeah. Are there any upcoming initiative or strategy that you would like to highlight? TRG is a very important partner to Info. They are the, the primary reason we are successful in Vietnam and in the APAC region, you know, absolutely no doubt. Uh, TRG has done a fantastic job of, you. of, uh, of uh, you know, taking some systems to our customers here in, 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 uh, in Asia PAC and, and continues to deliver on all fronts. Collaboration with TRG is, is paramount to us. And the way we kind of see that going forward is, is just through continued collaboration. We, you know, we're striving to build up a, uh, an enablement program where we can further engage with you, further collaborate on, you know, the solutions that you're putting together, you know, how you're addressing uh, needs in your local region, and uh, how that could perhaps be translated into requirements for mm -hmm. other regions, how we could even perhaps extend the solutions that you've put together and uh, into other regions for Sun Systems customers. So absolutely paramount. And, and uh, we also want to make sure that, you know, all of these new technologies that are coming out uh, through InfraOS, for example, that uh, they are being put, um, you know, uh, into Sun Systems and, you know, tied together. But in doing so, often that skill set hasn't developed. Like, you know, so new technology comes out and uh, we haven't quite trained people up, yeah. you know, on it, right? it. And perhaps not fast enough. So if our consultants, uh, you know, have already gotten that knowledge, we want to then make sure that we pass that knowledge on to you guys so you can then further take that to our customers in, in Vietnam and in the APEC region. Got it. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Vyarvin, for yeah. the uh, interesting talk and on the idea and insight that you share is really, really I would say, uh, broad in the horizon in me. Uh, yeah. And thank you. Thank you again for the only audience that attending the uh, DHG talk for today. And make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Peace.